game development in assembly language, um, specifically uh, x86 with the Intel syntax. Um, you will need to install Kimio and NASM, and I'll put the links in the description uh, below. After you've installed Kimio and NASM, we can go ahead and uh, create a, a bat file this exactly, um, these two lines uh, with echo off. And this will let you build it um, specifying a name, but I'll do the commands on their own so that I don't lose anybody. You want to create a file with a .asm extension. Right now I have example.asm and put this sort of um, bootloader in it and we can go ahead and using Kimu and NASM. So NASM will make a binary file and then uh, Kimu we will run that as an operating system. So this is a bootloader. You can see it's booting from floppy. There's nothing written here because we haven't told it to. Um, and we're going to be swapping to video mode. So what we want to do is put in move AL. So this is the lower byte of the A register. Um, and set it to 0x13. And then int, which is not integer, but um, interrupt. So we need to use interrupt 10. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start using this bat file to build it with just the name put in there. Um, but those other commands are perfectly good too. There you go, video mode. So we have a blank screen. And then let's go ahead and uh, put the draw start, this value here is 0x. And you can just do it as this um, into the EDI register. And then what we want to do, or EDI location, and then what we want to do is um, move a single byte into, instead of the EDI, we want the value in EDI to be referenced. And um, we want 0x04, which is just color red. So we'll just copy color red since we already defined it down here. Um, and I'll go ahead and replace draw start as well because um, now you understand what those things are. And you can see that, um, well, you probably can't see it, but uh, there's a little red pixel in the top right corner. If I zoom in, you might be able to see right there, but probably not. So um, what I'm going to do instead is start on the draw square label draw square and we're going to start out by defining uh, the draw start so move so we need this same value to come down here we need a uh, dot setup and a dot uh, put pixel and then we need a dot done and then done will be return. Put pixel will be this uh, line here, basically just moving uh, the byte in. Um, and then setup will be making sure that, in fact, I, I don't think I'm gonna call it setup, I think I'm gonna call it move down. Um, it's gonna, cause we're gonna draw a square, so we need to move down um, in Y on the y-axis um, and then in here you'll want to jump the first um, call across to dot put pixel because we don't want to move down at first okay so this gets removed and in its place we're going to do a call so we're calling the label so call draw square and you just do that just like that um, so uh, and if we run this I believe we'll still get a pixel you won't be able to see it I, I can see it um, because it's probably too small to show 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on here. In this video mode uh, with X13, you get uh, color and it's 320 pixels times 200. So, um, and this, this uh, location, this draw start, is the start of a buffer. So it's going to have every single pixel all I think that's 64,000 pixels so this value um, plus 64,000 would be the end so that'd be the last pixel so there's a little bit of math required um, and we're going to go ahead and just um, start by adding that in so after we've added to the draw start we need to decide where our square will be I defined a width and a height. I think I'll probably do an SQ uh, X um, at uh, 100 and an SQ uh, Y. Oh, come on. At, I don't know, 50 or something. Okay. So what we need to do is move to that location first. So um, we need to. Uh, move e d e a x. Okay, so e a x is the register you do math in. It's usually the resulting register, so that's where the result of your math goes. And we need to start out with e d i inside of it, and then we need to multiply or no move e uh, probably e b x. Just take the next register and then reference our sqx no our y value this is we need to do y first because we're multiplying so then we'll do mo mul for mole which is a multiply call on the ebx register and then we need to um add to eax the sqx value so to understand what's happening here we have a draw start if you add 320 to the draw start, we get a value of 0 for x again, and we get a value of y as 1. So what you have to do is you have to multiply your um, starting value by 320, or th the width of it, so 320, um, times your uh, y value. So what we probably need to do here is um, actually add a, a, a 320 to it before multiplying. So actually, this needs to be, I think, 320. And this needs to be um, let's see, y is 50. So we need to do 50. And then we need to add EDI to it. OK, that was a mistake on my part. So in order to get the pixel location, we need to multiply these two numbers together and add them to the draw start. So um, that's what we're doing. OK, so that gives our Y. And now we need to also add to uh, EDI um, EAX, oh no, 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 EAX has already been added. So EDI, we need to add the, and this is where the SQX comes in. So X is just an, an added value onto the Y location. So you multiply to go down and then you add to go across, basically. So, um, but instead of 50, we need to do the SQY. So this becomes SQY. Here we go. And I'll just check to make sure it put the pixel in the right location by building it. Um, oh, no, we did not. So uh, there's been an error. Uh, let's see. Draw start, EDI. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, I know what we did. We didn't move it into... Um, yeah, so just one little line here, move EDI, EAX, so that'll fix that. 
Okay, yeah, now there's a little red pixel. And if I zoom in, now that it's in the center of the screen, I think you might be able to see it on YouTube. It's right there. I have no idea if you will be able to, but that's okay. Okay, now we jump to put pixel. And what we need to do is do a comparison. And we need to make sure we're not going larger than our, um, our value. So we go ink, EDI to move the, the pixel one over. Um, and then we do, uh, come on. And then we have to increment, and we're gonna do ECX, or yeah, ECX for the um, the width. And then we're gonna compare, so CMP EC, CX to the, um, and we'll compare it to SQ uh, width. I think, yeah, width will be good for that. And then if it's less than the width, we go back to, um, to put pixels, so. Uh, dot put pixel. If it isn't, uh, we're going to increment edx for height. Um, compare edx to sq height to see if height has been completed. If it's if it hasn't, then we're going to jump to dot move down, and in move down. Um, we need to essentially add to EDI um, the width of the screen, so 320. Do I have that written down anywhere here? No, I didn't have it in my, that's okay. And then we need to subtract from EDI the square uh, width so that it, because it's been moved over, so when you do 320, it'll go down here and then you move back to the start. Um, and I think we can go ahead and run that. Okay, so there's a little bit of an error here, clearly. Um, but you can see it's starting to draw something, which is nice to, to see some, um, some effort. So I think in the, in the move down, there's a, a little bit that has to be cleared out, I think. It's um, ECX has been incrementing, so now it's larger than square width, so we actually need to reset that. So we'll just use the ZOR operation on ECX. CX, okay. And I think that might work. Aha, now look at that. So you can draw your first square. <laughs> And uh, obviously there's a lot more that needs to go into refactoring this so that it's not a mess. Um, but uh, that is how you draw a square. Uh, and this is probably the end of the first tutorial in how to do game development in assembly. So I'm gonna end the video here.